Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you a super easy way to find factors and solutions of the given cubic equations in less than one minute. So the very first step is we want to make sure that our given cubic equations are in standard form. And here the cubic standard form looks like. If you compare with them, with this one, with our cubic equations, we are in a good shape. Now let's go ahead and get started with the very first example. We have a, this cubic equation. I want you to focus on the very last number, which is positive 7. What are the possible divisors or the factors of this number? The possible factors or the divisors are positive or negative 1 and positive or negative 7. So far so good. So the next step is I want you to see what is the highest degree of this cube equation. The power is, the highest power is 3. That means we must have 3 solutions. So therefore, we are going to pick three numbers among these possible divisors that if you add or multiply should add up to this number. And if you multiply them, that adds up to this one. So we are going to pick one, one, and seven among this one even though there's just one you can extend another one and seven now i want you to go ahead and add these numbers up if you add one plus one plus seven isn't it? that number is going to give you nine isn't it and if you multiply them one 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 equals to seven and that is going to be that number so thus our factors of this cubic function or cubic equation is going to be simply whatever you got this positive 1, positive 1 and positive 7. You just put down x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 7. And these are the possible factors and our solution set is going to be a simply whatever you got over here you just change the sign this positive one become negative one here your next factor is positive one so this become negative one and this become negative seven and that is your answer and now in the next example let's look at this cubic equation and our last number is negative 5. I want you to find the possible divisors for this one and those are going to be a positive or negative 1 and positive or negative 5 isn't it? And now we are going to pick uh, any three numbers among these ones so that we can add those numbers they should add up to negative 3 and if we multiply them if they multiply up to negative 5 so the one that i'm going to pick is 1 1 and negative 5 and now i want you to go ahead and multiply them if you multiply this one isn't it that's going to get this number and how about if you add them it's going to give you this one isn't it? So thus our factor is going to be simply then what? x and then this is a plus sign isn't it? And this is a plus and this is minus so it's going to become x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 5. And by the way these 1 1 and negative 5 were the only feasible numbers that could have given you when you add them it could be a negative 3, the other one for multiplying you get this one. And our solution set is going to be just you change the sign of these one of these factors. So this become negative 1, this becomes a negative 1 and this become positive 5 and that is our answer. And finally in this last example look at this last number which is negative 1. What are the possible divisor is going to be simply 
positive or negative one, isn't it? And now we're going to pick three feasible numbers among these ones that if you add them, that should add up to one. And if you multiply them, it adds up, multiplies to negative one. So here are the numbers that I'm going to pick one, one and negative one. Let's go ahead and if you multiply one times one times negative one is going to give you negative one, isn't it? And if you add them up, that's going to give you positive one. So thus our factors are going to be simply whatever these signs. Okay, this is a positive one. This is positive one, negative one. So this become x plus one times x plus one times x minus one. These are our factors of this cubic equation. And finally, our solution set is going to be whatever these numbers are, you just change the sign over here. So this become negative one. This is going to become negative one. And that's going to become positive one. And that is our answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.